I also really like this kind of hero piece that you're accentuating. The folks at Disney never fail to surprise us, even after watching the movie. There's a lot of work that goes into making a Disney movie. Even a single frame of animation can take days of hard work. The animators at Disney definitely like to make things as detailed as possible. There's plenty of things you may not have noticed from movies you may have watched dozens of times. Here are just some of those hidden small details. Did you see that? In this scene from Tangled where Rapunzel has Flynn tied up to a chair with her hair, there's a close-up shot of Flynn's eyes that reveals just how committed to detail Disney tends to be. In a blink-and-you'll-miss-it moment, you'll be able to catch Rapunzel's reflection in the whites of Flynn's eyes just as they dart to the right. Would you stop that? After escaping from the giant, sassy crab known as Tomatoa, Maui's magical hook suffers from a malfunction, causing him to transform into a half-human and half-shark hybrid. If you look closely, you'll notice that Maui's trademark tattoo of himself has also been transformed into a shark. Ah, uh, shark head. As we all probably know by now, Aladdin is based off a collection of folktales popular in the Middle East, titled 1001 Nights. An interesting small tidbit pays homage to the origins of the source material. Whenever Robin Williams' genie is shown writing, he is writing from the right to the left. This pays homage to the fact that Arabic is traditionally written from the right to the left. If you've ever been to an arcade, you'll probably notice that almost all the games have a high score. The Fix-It Felix Jr. cabinet in Wreck-It Ralph is no difference. The high score of the game read 120501 which, if you are a hardcore Disney fanatic, you might recognize this as the birth date of Walt Disney himself. December 5th, 1901. Think you can top that high score? I'm gonna wreck it! In Zootopia, Nick's employment application to become a police officer has a fun little gag. Under the question, have you ever been arrested, you'll see that Nick initially checked off yes before scribbling it out and checking no. Seems a bit suspicious. Hopefully that didn't come up in his interview with Chief Bogo. What now? Beauty and the Beast's large cast of living castle objects all have some pretty pun-worthy names. While there's the obvious ones like Mrs. Potts, Lumiere, and Cogsworth, there's also some that only true experts will catch. Sultan, the Beast's transformed pooch, is an Ottoman. This is actually a historical reference regarding the fact that sultans were the rulers in the Ottoman Empire. While casting her spell to transform herself into her human alter ego Vanessa, you may have noticed that Ursula grabs a butterfly. What you may not have noticed is that Vanessa just so happens to be the name of a genus of butterfly. Well played, Disney, well played. <laughs> the sea witch. The mobile hanging above baby Rapunzel's crib has items that correspond to the film's plot. There's a horse representing Flynn's trusty steed, Maximus, a chameleon for Rapunzel's chameleon pal, Pascal, a duck for the snuggly duckling tavern, because who doesn't love ducklings, an angel for the man dressed as Cupid at said tavern, and a blue bird for the birds that fly around Rapunzel when she leaves the tower for the first time. Spoiler alert! I can't believe I did that! As Belle's father, Maurice, finds himself lost in the woods, he comes across a faded wood sign pointing in various directions. The faded names on the signs are names of cities in California. One of the names on the signs reads Valencia, which just so happens to be the location of Cal Arts, a school where many of Disney's top animators got their start. The other sign reads Anaheim, which is the location of the Disneyland Resort. That's a long way away from Beast's Castle. Let's go this way. Riley certainly has a lot of memories in Inside Out, but some of them are actually from other Pixar movies. In one scene, you can see two memories next to each other that represent the wedding scene from Up, as well as Carl and Ellie's house. These are Riley's memories, and they're mostly happy, you'll notice, not to brag. While on their way to eBay, Ralph and Vanellope encounter several spam-filled pop-up ads, with one of them promoting sassy housewives that want to meet Ralph. If you look closely at the ad, you'll recognize a familiar face. Aunt Cass from Big Hero 6. It'd probably be wise of Ralph not to click on that ad. Sassy housewives wanna meet you! In the opening musical number of The Princess and the Frog down in New Orleans, there's a little hidden detail within this overview shot of the city. 
If you look over to the right, you'll see a woman airing out a carpet that looks very similar to Aladdin's magic carpet. That begs the question, how did it manage to get all the way to New Orleans? Come on, come on out, we're not gonna hurt you. During the very memorable scene which finds Vanellope meeting all the Disney princesses while visiting Oh My Disney, there's plenty of little hidden details. One of those is located on the vanity table behind Aurora, where you'll notice Ariel's candlestick and a box of thingamabobs. She's got 20 of those, you know. I don't see how a world that makes such wonderful things. On the streets of Lilo and Nani's Hawaiian home of Kauai, a Chinese restaurant can be seen between the farmer's market and television store. The restaurant's name in question, Mulan Walk. If that wasn't enough Mulan goodness, there's also a poster for Mulan hung up on Nani's bedroom wall. Nani must be a big fan. Love. Judy Hopp's music player has plenty of pun-worthy names resembling some very popular musicians. Some of these names include Fleetwood Yak, Fur Fighters, Canine West, and The Beagles. To top that off, Gazelle's album features songs with titles that sound very similar to some classic Disney tunes from Let It Goat to Part of Your Wool. I'm Gazelle. Welcome to Zootopia. As Tarzan's jungle friends play with the human's belongings, Turk can be seen playing with a tea set as if it were an instrument. The teapot actually resembles Mrs. Potts from Beauty and the Beast. How she wound up in the jungle, however, still remains to be seen. See, I told ya. Science geeks are sure to catch this hidden detail in Big Hero 6. Honey Lemon's tech-based super suit features a purse that, if you look closely, has the periodic table of elements on it. How fashionable. I love it! As the muses sing about the planets aligning in Hercules, only six planets are shown instead of eight. This is actually because the ancient Greeks only knew of five other planets outside of Earth that could be seen by the human eye. Now that's commitment. The planets will align. Hidden Mickeys are scattered across many of Disney's movies, TV shows, and even their theme parks. In this shot in the opening of The Emperor's New Groove, an overhead shot shows that the plates being used by Cusco's servants have food on them shaped like green hidden Mickeys. Go! You threw off my groove! In the opening, When You Wish Upon a Star scene in this Disney classic, the bookshelves that Jiminy Cricket reads the story of Pinocchio from has two familiar books. Those books are for Alice in Wonderland and Peter Pan. Both of those, Disney later turned into movies over ten years later. What a builder! As Anna greets visitors outside of the castle before Elsa's coronation, you'll catch that she walks by two very familiar-looking characters. In fact, these two characters are Rapunzel and Flynn, with the princess sporting her new short hairdo. Does this mean Anna and Elsa's parents showed up for Rapunzel and Flynn's wedding? Did I ever tell you I've got a thing for brunettes? <laughs> After losing his dramatic battle with the Beast, Gaston begins to fall from the castle. In a blink-and-you'll-miss-it shot, you see that Gaston's eyes have skulls flashing, ultimately predicting his untimely fate. Come on, Elton, fight! His Royal Highness, King Triton! During King Triton's introduction in The Little Mermaid, several of the background characters in the audience are some very notable Disney alumni. The beloved Muppet, Kermit the Frog, can be seen sitting in one corner, while Mickey, Donald, and Goofy can also be seen watching in the audience. Disney and the Muppets have to represent somehow. Yes! Watch out, Ted! Here I come! As Nani prepares to sign Stitch's adoption papers, you'll notice that this is no ordinary document. In fact, the adoption document is actually a thank you note to the production and creative team behind the film. It makes you wonder how many of them paused the movie to read it. I like them. Come here, boy. After Pixar's Cars lost Best Animated Film at the Oscars to the Warner Brothers-produced motion capture flick Happy Feet, Pixar included a small jab at the end of their subsequent film, Ratatouille. The label reads that the film is 100% genuine animation, with no motion capture used, and reminds everybody that the studio's films are all animated by hand, instead of just using motion capture. Tough, but fair. What are you talking about? I don't know. Disney sure loves to hide some hidden goodies in all their films, and it's always so much fun to find them. From characters from other films making cameos to pun-worthy names, The Mouse House doesn't disappoint. 
What's your favorite hidden detail in a Disney movie? 